Speak Student. Lord Byron, Alashma. Breaking news. Lindsay Highhand captured getting out of her car. Celebrities today are often famous for something besides their actual job. Sure, they might occasionally star in a blockbuster movie, but people are talking about them because they're feuding with other celebrities or unwittingly starring in a racy online video taken from some random iPhone. But celebrities existed before E! News and paparazzi. They just didn't have a word for it. Is it possible that Lord Byron was the world's first celebrity? Like George Clooney, Byron was famous for his devastating good looks and his scandalous personal life. Oh, George Byron, you're so naughty. <laughs> and just as Clooney occasionally does a movie or two, Byron may have written one or two famous works. In a pre-Hollywood world, poetry was hot, but Byron's looks and behavior were even hotter. Lord Byron was crazy enough to have been on the cover of a tabloid, uh, even if they did exist back then. He claimed to live on a diet of vinegar and potatoes. Would that have been the first celebrity diet craze? And just like people throw their underpants at the Rolling Stones, women sent Byron fan mail. Sometimes very personal items. How much would it have cost to ship a girdle back then? Well, he wasn't just defined by his poetry and his adoring fans, but just as Sean Penn is always on his soapbox about something uh, socialist-y, Byron too had his pet causes. He fought for Greek independence. Not only did his poetry help raise awareness for the cause, he trucked it over there to raise funds and procure supplies. What sets Byron apart for many modern celebs is that he actually died for his cause. He came down with a fever and died in Greece. Do you think Sarah McLaughlin would take a bullet to save a stray dog? I will remember you. Yeah, we don't think so either. Perhaps cementing his celebrity status, Byron lived fast and died young. He was like James Dean, the rebel without a cause. Not James Dean, the X-rated film actor. <clears throat> Although with Byron, who knows, uh, he might have been a little of both if video cameras were around back then. Ooh, can we say that on Shmup? <laughs>